Say hello to the Moonlit Lands, stripped of any color. It's a slick style for a truly black and white basic land you'll want to see in person to appreciate. Well, spoiler alert, a couple weeks ago I was at an in-person pre-release for Commander Legends, and I saw these lands in person, and all I can say is that I was incredibly disappointed, and in this video I'm going to be telling you why. With that out of the way, let's get straight to why I was disappointed, and that is because it makes the lands really hard to tell apart when there is no color distinguishing them. They look very similar, and in fact, I was looking at like a match that was being played between like different players while I was like between rounds, and I looked over, saw their lands, and had no idea what their deck was until I looked over at the command zone to see their commander. And it really just isn't good when the game pieces in Magic are like ambiguous and you don't know what's going on if you're looking at the magic rules there's 265 pages of rules here and you don't need to further complicate things by making lands hard to tell apart there is a very famous play that happened in a grand prix between gabriel nasif and thomas langlotz i don't know if i mispronounced that but regardless the play occurred because Dryad Arbor looks like a basic forest in this one specific artwork, and so Gabriel Nassif attacked with his menace creature, thinking his opponent only had one blocker, and lost the match as a result. You can see it right here. And swing with just those guys, yep. And so I don't think he sees the Dryad Arbor here. Yeah. Yeah, he just brings the Dryad Arbor up, makes a crazy, like, really good double block, the, the game just swings wildly, and it overall is just not a good look for the game when the complexity is not in the gameplay decisions, but in recognizing which lands your opponent is playing. They actually changed the rules after this to make it so you have to put your Dryad Arbor up along with your other creatures. It doesn't get to hide in the little land slot because it looks just like a forest to the untrained eye. Now, the lands that uh, the are purely black and white are based on these previous lands that were kind of based on, like, similar concept, but they had these little frames around them, and the mana symbol that itself was a color to make it slightly easier to tell apart. And this is, like, a much better execution of the idea, I think, because you can glance over, see a little bit of blue, and be like, okay, that's an island. Whereas if you're looking at this land and you glance over, you're like, oh, there's black and white, and there's black and white. Oh, do they have two blue mana up to use a counter spell? Do they have white mana up for their removal spell? What's going on here? And it just makes things more ambiguous than it needs to be. Now, the <laughs> the planes, if you're just thinking about a planes, you can just glance over, see the color, know it's a planes. I can just click on a one at random here. It'll pull up a picture, and you can recognize that as a planes without even having to do anything. You're like, oh yeah, I can see the border. I can see there's a massive amount of white. It's clearly a planes. You can just click on like literally any one of these and know that it's a planes. But when you get to this one, you click on it and you're like, huh, I'm, I'm not really sure what that is because it's like kind of hard to tell apart from the other ones. So I think that these are just kind of a mistaken design and not just a one-off thing because they also, with these Neon Dynasty lands, also had some very ambiguous ones. There's the famous case in, at this point, or not famous, but more well-known case of this swamp that everyone thinks is a mountain because of this very distinct red lantern that is shown in the artwork. And even though it's a great piece of art, it does lead to more confusion. And recently I was watching a match and I saw someone play this island. And in my first thought was that it was a forest because you can see there's tons of green here. And generally the way the lands are delineated is by the predominant color. If you think back to the way a plains is thought of, it's just because the main background color of the non full art version is white. So you just kind of associate plains with white which is the color of mana that it is, so that's not a huge, crazy thing. But when you're looking at a full art land, it needs to kind of have that associated color to go with it so that you can immediately kind of figure out what it is. And when you have just a, an island that is mostly green or a swamp that is mostly red, it just leads to further confusion. I mean, this mountain is also kind of like grayish and white, so again, not really bracing the predominant color scheme there, but it's not as egregious as this... Uh, this is I almost said mountain I'm not even kidding I almost said mountain here because just like it's really hard to disconnect the colors from the land type just based on the way that the lands have been made for so long so this swamp this island really just kind of aren't like really they're just confusing game pieces and in a game that is already complicated adding extra confusion in the mana base is just something that is totally 
unnecessary and i really hope that wizards reconsiders the direction of their basic lands it, especially like the premium versions that people really want to put in their decks it feels really bad to have those be like just making the game more confusing anyway that is it for this little video i will be interested to hear your thoughts on this topic do you think the lands are getting too crazy do you think they should stick to more re regular designs or uh give the artists more specific instruction leave your thoughts in the comments below if you did enjoy this video hit the thumbs up button subscribe for more content and to let me know you made it all the way to the end of the video leave hashtag land confusion in the comments section down below that's gonna do it for this one though i hope you enjoyed it and i will talk to you next time